welcome to my java video series today we'll talk about garbage collection so garbage collection is a process of removing unused objects or free objects from the memory it's a process of removing unused objects unused or you can call it d referenced or free objects from heap memory all objects are living inside heap memory and when when they are not in use garbage collection process will remove such free objects so there is one uh, program there is one program module running inside heap memory uh, handle this garbage collection job so garbage collector is a module is a module inside JVM responsible for this job so garbage collection job is taken care by this garbage collector program it is automatically run by JVM it's autom automatically run by JVM <coughs> Java virtual machine itself decide when it has to be invoked or when not so JVM will continuously scan your memory identify the uh, space inside heap memory and uh, accordingly it will uh, perform the garbage collection procedures so there are some standard algorithm uh, given inside java virtual machine used inside jvm to handle this operation so initially it, uh, they are using mark and sweep so let me talk about some algorithm so mark and sweep is an old algorithm used by jvm for this garbage collection operation they have introduced so many algorithm uh, in between and recently they are using garbage first sometime it is known as g1 so this is a recent uh, all recent jvms are following this algorithm garbage first is a latest algorithm used by java virtual machine and it has optimized our java virtual machine through its excellent working efficiency so this is a sub latest algorithm we have provision to invoke garbage collection garbage collector through the program system.gc is a method this method will invoke garbage collector invoke garbage collector from code programmatically you, you can invoke the garbage collector but there is no guarantee that garbage collection will happen or not because we cannot force garbage collector we cannot force garbage collector but we can requ request to garbage collector using this system.gc if your request is listen it will be processed otherwise it may be ignored so we cannot force to garbage collector we cannot force to garbage collector but we can request by calling system dot gc method so it's an internal process done by jvm now how we can identify that an object is free or it is unused so let me take you to the old program in previous program we discussed one string mutability scenario so look at this small program we have one object here s1 we have another object s2 and we printed the value for s1 and we print the hash code here now we have done a concat operation and we overwrite this uh, we have reassigned this s1 so in this particular line what will be the scenario look at the diagram here the scenario is like this so initially s1 was pointing to hello after concatenation a new object is created and 
its reference is assigned to the S1 so what will happen here this S1 is holding this triple 3 and uh, it has got a new reference here it is pointing to the new object and the old link has been broken now this is the object this is the unused object because no one is accessing this object so we call this object as unused object it's unused object or you can call it D referenced object means no objects no reference is pointing to this objects or we also call as free objects means this object is ready for garbage collection it's eligible for it's eligible object for garbage collection so this object will be identified by JVM and this will be automatically removed from the memory and the free space will be reused by another object then so this is how you can uh, see the garbage collection so in next series we'll talk about mutable strings so thank you very much for now